in case you're tuning in now, and this is how we're going to open the episode, I am quite, quite uh, moistened. Yeah, if we're if we're word, glistening, but... it's purely because this recording room is is just toasty as hell. If only we had. Oh wait, I'm supposed to sleep. Okay, so this is. Welcome back to Dropsy, every, everyone, <laughs> by the way. Um, I promise we'll talk about Dropsy at some point, but both Nathan and Cujo have been advocating for getting one of those, like, Dyson, I think it's the brand, the, like, um, those, those bladeless fans that are silent. They want to get one for the recording room, but I keep saying that... Oh, I can't actually look at the scary car. Also, I love these dream sequences. Um, but they want to get one of those bladeless fans because they think it's going to help like cool down the recording space because it's a hot box basically. We close all the doors, the walls are padded with foam, and uh, there's like no ventilation happening in here. There are lights and computers and... Yeah, warm bodies, computers, Ooh. lights, it's, it's just stuff everywhere. And uh, I think getting a fan is just going to circulate hot air. It's not going to do anything. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want us to not die from heat exhaustion. I mean, I would like to not die of heat exhaustion. I've been doing live streams in here, and I've been fine. I, I guess I don't have this yeah. light on, but yeah. yeah. How are your I, pajama pants all curled up? It still is hot in here. <laughs> okay, let's let's actually talk about Dropsy. Right. Um, last we left off, Papa Dropsy got sick. We uh, we got a little mousy friend, and yep. now we are out in the world again. So basically what we're going to have to do now is find a, a way to cure our dead. Hmm. Maybe we should ask that guy? Spaceman McGee? Oh man, that takes me back. What, Spaceman McGee? Back to uh, the Dark future? Souls. Oh my god. Remember the, like, the onion head dude? I titled an episode Spaceman McGee after that. Onion head dude. I swear man, he's a real person. Well, real character. Yeah, it's too late. You get what? <laughs> Dang it! Dang How about it. you focus on w quality of clicks, not well? If I click on it thirty-two times, I to be totally honest, that's mostly me not paying attention to my clicking and more of like I need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I. That's another thing about oh, these wait. games. It's see, case in point. No, I let me hug it. What the. F uh, I'm hugging the tree. What no, is... no, no, no. There was a creepy shadow I thingy. I don't know what you're talking about. There's, there's, um, we're just in a forest, Cujo. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, oh, I, this like the, I like the fog effect. This whole area is so crazy because it's super like... Shit? Right? It's very like alien. And it just like comes out of nowhere. Spaceman McGee, come back. Wait. Why? Dropsy, the ultimate tree hugger. You know what else is funny about that? Is uh, this little sign here. It's it says, like, don't touch the trees. Don't touch the tree. <laughs> Dropsy, don't give don't no Don't touch fuck. the trees, you'll die. So there's actually some pretty interesting, like, lore going on in this world. Yeah. All right, oh what's God. up, dude? Medical lab sandwiches. Sandwiches are good. <laughs> so he's hungry. I don't know if this will do anything because I missed this opportunity because last time, okay, so you know yeah, the oh, area yeah, yeah. we came from? If you don't grab a sandwich before you leave, you just cannot get another one until you find a way to get back, but they won't let you in. Will you let me feed you? Nope. Okay, I thought that I was supposed to give him a sandwich too, but he's just telling me about the medical labs right now. I mm. don't think we can actually give him anything. Um, there, He does play a critical role later on, and you will get to see that actually probably soon, maybe in this or in the next episode, depending on how many side quests we do. Oh, mm. Also, this is great. Anything that looks like a fire hydrant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> misses every single time. It's not about hitting the fire hydrant, it's about peeing around it. Making sure you mark your territory. Yeah, see, this guy's not gonna let you in. He will tell you that he's trying to boil or make some soup. Mm. So if we give him the right ingredients, actually, we have one of the ingredients. No, uh, oh, there, there's it's, a map. It's in this map. <laughs> it's, actually, that would be a really crazy place to hide a, a clue. So we'll give him this tomato that we dug up in our garden. He's like, tomato, I need that for my tomato soup. I love his like choppy mouth. Like, I'm a crazy old man, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, hmm, does the king like this soup? The king's like, hmm, 
Hmm. I can't decide. My nose is enormous. Disgusting. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, his proportions are out of control. Yeah. He's like Mario. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. He's like a human-sized Mario. Ugh. Uh, King don't like your soup. Uh, what was that? That's the sound of me trying to get rid of my moistness. Oh, man. Ugh. This um, is one thing I haven't quite figured out. So there's some little, like, alien dude in here. And I think we have to lure him out somehow. But I still don't know how. But he's related to this guy. This guy is missing some little, like, glowy rings. See, he's like, I miss my rings. They're all turned to dust. And then I'm like, but how? And it's like, oh, look at this little comic thing. Oh, this guy stole the, or made the rings or stole them. I'm not really sure. Interesting. Yeah, it's... I still have no idea what's going on there. Um, so the other day I had a show. A wrestling show? Yeah, a wrestling show. And uh, I... <laughs> you always know how the match is going to go based on what you feel the second you go through the curtain. Um, and what happened this last show was I walked through the curtain and immediately went, Holy shit, it's really hot. This is going to suck. <laughs> Uh, and guaranteed, at one point, like, at least for me, like, my, my opponent, not so much, uh, but, um, at one point I was like, uh, 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 <laughs> and it reminded me of one of the matches I had with a good friend of mine, and he and I both got to the back after the match, and we were like, oh god, that sucked. God, we just, we just totally was it, blew it. We was totally it, blew it. Was it hot, like, because the the lights in the stage? But it was hot because of the lights. It was hot because there were so many people. It was hot because it didn't have a lot of ventilation. There was no AC. Like, there were lots of things that all sort of accumulated to make the 98-degree um, room that we were wrestling in. But I remember us being like, oh, God, we blew it. It sucked. Like, that's it. That's, we're, we ruined our spot. And then we watched it back later. We were like, oh. All right, so we're just kind of quiet, but whatever. It looked fine. <laughs> you know, sometimes I honestly feel the same way about uh, the show. Sometimes I'm like, man, we just really blew it. Like, we sucked. Yeah. And uh, I'll go back and I'll edit it. And I'm like, actually, this this turned out better than I yeah. thought. Um, recently, that was my feelings on uh, Nick in, in my playthrough of uh, The Curious Expedition. Mm -hmm. I was really worried. Check so the annotation. <laughs> God damn it, Kudu. <laughs> but, uh... When Nick got here, it was absolutely hilarious. I hope he doesn't watch this episode because he's going to hate me for this. Um, but Nick has an irrational fear of this city. Like, proper suburban terrified fear of the city. Really? Oh, it's hilarious. Um, but he got, he and Rachel were both, both supposed to come here. We were going to record... Um, Oh, what were we going to record? This War of Mine, I believe, was what we were going to do. Oh, yeah. They and uh, really hit playing that hard lately. Yeah, and it, I still really want to do it with them, so I just need to get them over here. But um, since Rachel couldn't come, Nick came by himself, and we, we decided to record The Curious Expedition instead, which was awesome. But the entire time Nick was here, he was like just rushing through everything. He was like, let's get these episodes done. I'm going to, we're going to like not fuss around with our intros and outros and we're gonna just like figure this out and uh you know i was like okay great like i love this and and you know this is working out really well and so i was like what's like why are you you rushing through this so much nick and he's like i just i just love efficiency i like to be efficient that's and i was like i don't i'm not convinced nick that that's totally what's going on oh it has to be nighttime just kidding leaving oh. We have stuff to do in there. In there. Uh, in there. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it this episode. I think this episode we might just do a bunch of side quests. Mm. Um, oh, okay. Actually talking about Dropsy for a second, because this episode has started off with very little Dropsy, and we're basically at the end of the time. I hope people don't mind. Um, yeah. Uh... But one thing we didn't talk about was that there's a day and night cycle in Dropsy. That's true. Um, which by itself, you know, doesn't necessarily feel that crazy and or like uh, grandiose. Uh, also, gardenos. I love this. See his uh, little dra grabby hands. He's like, please give me a hug. So uh, Dropsy's like, I will indulge. Uh, it's so cute. Whoa. Um, 
but day and night cycles aren't very common, I think, in a lot of point and click games. Mm. Um, and I don't really know why, because it's a very good adventure mechanic. Um, I mean, I loved it in, in like, Majora's Mask, The Legend of Zelda. Um, and so, like, the reason why it's really interesting is it allows us to have the same settings, um, but it changes what's available to us in those mm. settings. And what a terrible night to have a <laughs> night. <laughs> Castlevania maybe was not the best at it. No. But Dropsy, I actually really like it. Yeah. Um, okay, so now it's nighttime. We're going to go sneak into here, but we're going to actually do that in the next episode. Sounds good. So, we'll see you guys in the archives. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next archive. Penis. The next arc. This, <laughs> that time it was on purpose, alright. I need water. This is, it's heating up worse.